Hello again, it's the Microsoft Cloud Experts from Exgility, and today we're here to bring you another tip to help you achieve transformational results in your business. In today's tip, we will be going over what is Office 365. Well, Office 365 is a collection of web-based applications, and those applications are available in the Microsoft Cloud on a per user per, per month basis, otherwise known as software as a service. Many people are familiar with Exchange Online that gives you the common Outlook mail, calendars, as well as contacts in the cloud. Common desktop applications that you would be familiar with, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, etc., are available for download or for your use in the cloud. Your team might be less familiar with applications such as OneDrive, which is personal storage in the cloud, SharePoint, which allows you to collaborate with your team, or advanced applications such as CRM and Power BI. Microsoft is constantly rolling out cool new applications available for use in Office 365, and some of those cool new applications include Planner, Delve, Video, and Sway. Many organizations ask me, why use Office 365 for file storage when there's plenty of other ways to store files? Whether you're talking about file shares, Box, Dropbox, any of the various cloud storage solutions out there, the key difference between many of those solutions and Office 365 is that both OneDrive personal storage and SharePoint team sites are tightly integrated with Microsoft applications such as Outlook, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. In this presentation, I'm gonna go over some of those features and how they work with both SharePoint team sites as well as OneDrive. As mentioned, OneDrive for Business is personal storage in the cloud. So organizations, individuals can get to that personal storage by going to a URL in a browser. But what's really cool about OneDrive for Business is that it also allows you to sync those files whether you're talking about files that exist in your OneDrive document library or files that exist on SharePoint sites down to your PC. And you can almost think about this as laptop backup in the cloud. This allows you to work on those particular files while you're offline, whether it be in a plane or in a remote area. SharePoint team sites are sites that allow for collaboration among teams, projects, and organizations. SharePoint team sites might also commonly be known as an intranet. And in the following slides, I'm gonna go through a few features of SharePoint team sites and how they can be used for collaboration. There are several types of apps that make up a SharePoint team site. Some of the most common apps include lists and libraries. Before I go over libraries, let me talk a little bit about lists. Lists are a little bit like Microsoft Excel on a web page. They have rows and columns. Common lists might include task lists and calendars. Lists can also be used for things like a facilities request. When people think of SharePoint, most people think of files in the cloud or files on a SharePoint server that are stored in a library. Libraries are a component of file storage in team sites. You might notice that in this particular example, gone is the common folder. In this particular example, we're actually showing a contracts library and we're using metadata to track various things like vendors, contract status, when the contract ends, the values of the contracts, and even percent remaining on contracts. This allows us to show views. At the top, you can see several views, including all documents, documents with 20% or 
document or contracts with less than 20% remaining and contracts that expire within 30 days. One of the most basic reasons to move away from file shares towards clouds-based storage and particularly SharePoint team sites is that you get one version of the truth. At the top left, you see an email where I've shared this PowerPoint presentation and you can see that there is one version of the truth because all parties working on this PowerPoint presentation are going to be working on a single version that is updated in real time. And simply all the users would have to do is click on that link and edit that particular PowerPoint. Another example here to the right is based on Microsoft Word. And you can see in this particular example towards the middle, there are two people, Anne and Garth, both simultaneously co-authoring or editing this Word document at the same time. The third example that you can see to the right is that these particular individuals are using Skype to chat about that particular document while they're also co-authoring that document in Word. You may have recall that I mentioned earlier that one of the best things about Office 365 is it is a suite of tightly integrated applications that integrate very well with the common desktop applications that you use every day, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. An additional reason for using SharePoint team sites is version history. I'm familiar with plenty of examples in my past where somebody was working on a document on a file share late at night and possibly a junior well-meaning employee overwrote the changes from a senior employee and data was lost because backups happen nightly, not hourly or up to the minute. In this particular example, I'm showing on the left the version history from PowerPoint and on the right what the version history looks like if you were to take that version history from the browser on the SharePoint team site. Search is one of the key reasons to use Office 365, SharePoint, and OneDrive over many other technologies, including file shares. You're probably familiar with the Google-like search that exists within SharePoint, where you can search on text, whether it's inside of a document, or particularly it could be metadata about the document, or even in the file name. And of course, you get the ability to sort those search results based on the type of document, the site, the author, or even when it was modified. Delve Analytics is a new machine learning tool that allows you to get insight to the collaboration activities of peers in your organization. I want to thank you for allowing us to bring you another tip to help you bring transformational results to your business. Today's overview of Office 365 and SharePoint Online only scratches the surface. If you'd like more information, I'd like you to check out the notes below this video and see the links to our blogs and other YouTube videos. As always, if you need additional help or training, just email us at info at